Hey folks, Denny here. Uh, I bought a lawnmower, a riding lawnmower, and I, I put some, uh, I made some uh, ramps out of wood. And uh, when I tried to drive the lawnmower up on the wood ramps, it didn't work too well. And it's kind of slippery, and I didn't want to go to the expense of buying buying some new ramps. So I decided that. Uh, I'm going to get me a winch and I'm going to install a winch onto my utility trailer. And then I can just winch the thing up there and I don't have to drive it. Especially if I'm all alone up in the North Woods and I want to load the lawnmower and slide off and I don't want to have it tip over on top of me. So, anyhow, I bought a winch and this video is going to show you how I put it on my trailer. Uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of winding to get it up there, but it works great. And so, watch the video, see what you think. And uh, I'll talk at the end of the video. We went out and bought this uh, used John Deere. We got a really good deal on it. Uh, but I made these ramps here to put it up on. And uh, I didn't really like the way it slid off. It was a little bit loose and slippery. And it's sliding it on. Matter of fact, to get it on to where we bought it at, we pushed it on rather than drove it on. And those wood ramps like that, they're a little slippery. I could put some sand on them, or I could buy uh, another type of ramp. But I don't want to go to a big expense for the few times I'm going to do this. So I've come up uh, with another idea, and I'm going to put that on right now. I bought a winch, and I'll show you what that looks like. Today I'm going to put a winch on my trailer so I don't have to drive the lawn more up and down. They're kind of slippery. So this is what I got. The Worm Gear Hand Wrench. Bought it from uh, Harbor Freight. It's uh, got a dead pole of 2,000 pounds. Uh, mounts of the trailer. It's designed right to the mount of the trail trunk. So I'm going to put that on and we'll see how it all works. Alright, we're going to unpack this. That's the uh, cable harness right there. Handle. And here comes the main body you now the, the, of the uh, winch. This is a worm type, so the handle will come out the top and it uh, spins on a worm gear that uh, brings the cable in. Pretty simple, well built. Okay, what I'm doing here, this is a foldable trailer, so this uh, little wing nut here is a, a threaded stud that comes out of the tongue. You can take that off so you can lower the, uh, the tongue when you have it folded up. I'm going to use that to anchor the uh, back side of my winch. One of the problems I didn't foresee here is that them angle uh, braces that come up to the tongue, they go on top of the actual tongue. So the back of the winch is uh, about an eighth of an inch higher than what the front of the winch will be. So here in a minute I'll show you how I solve that problem. Need to add some spacers there to get it uh, so it's leveled out. You don't want it at an angle. You want to make sure all the stuff is level. It pulls uh, when the cable winds up easier. 
Here I'm still trying to contemplate how to do it. But it's real simple, couple couple washers in there, you'll see that here any second, no? Okay, you can see the washers on the tongue there. I'll be pointing at them in a minute here. Those are the washers I put in. I think I like four washers put in there. Now, I didn't glue them or screw them in or bolt them because the, the pressure when I put the U-joint on, or U-clamp, will hold them in place and uh, they won't go any place. So I'm just putting the wing nut on the back side there. And then here comes the uh, U-clamp. And you got a spacer that fits on the bottom, or, or a, a bracket that fits on the bottom so it holds it in place. And it just screws on there. Now when you, or you put nuts on it. Now when you tighten these nuts, you want to tighten one side a little bit, and then go to the other side, and go back and forth so you, you uh, tighten up them nuts evenly. So it's a good solid uh, connection there. It's hold, uh, firmly attached. You just uh, hand tighten them first and get a couple of uh, box wrenches and just tighten them all up so they're good and tight and that's ah, not going to go anywhere. Now if you don't have that stud uh, on your tongue like I did there, that threaded stud, you could always drill a hole there. Uh, make sure you, you spray paint or, or treat the hole you drill if you don't want any bare metal or for us. But you can attach a bolt on there in any place. Okay. Uh, stick the handle on real quick. I had to make sure I had clearance because since this is a handle it it's a worm gear the handle will rotate you want to make sure I had room for the handle it didn't hit the front part of the trailer there still a little close but uh, works fine I have other uses for this uh, winch also I have an old riding a lawnmower up at the RV site that uh, has sunk down into the ground, the tires are flat, so I'm going to use this winch to haul it up uh, onto the trailer and take it into a, a scrapyard and just scrap the thing out. Here you can see that we've got to hook the cable up. There's a little bracket you attach to it. And you're supposed to loop it and uh, and then tighten it up, but that cable is so stiff. I wind up and I eventually I just put one end into it and tighten it up. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere because I'll never have, well, I don't plan on it, you know. But you can see how stiff it is. It's really hard to get it in there. Uh, but it won't fall off, so just I just attach one end and that, that, that works fine. Just want to hold it in place. See, I'm trying not to give up. I'm trying to do it the way they want it, but it, it's, that cable is pretty stiff, and it was pretty small. You can see it just flopped out of my hands there. So I decided just hooking one end in there and tighten the down good, that's, that'll be sufficient.
one thing I should have done is got a stool so I could sit down and do it. Gets a little hard on the back after bending over for that length of time. Well, that's where I gave up and decided, nah, just one end's going in. Yeah, you can see there just the one ends in there now I'll just get a couple small wrenches and tighten it up not gonna go anywhere gotta get the right size wrench here first all right I always use gloves when I'm doing that with these uh, cables like that. They can have a little wire thing coming out of there. And you can see it's pretty close quarters there when I'm trying to get it in. But uh, once you get it, uh, get it tightened, it took quite a bit of winding. But here we go. We're starting to load up the trailer or the lawnmower. Hard? Hard? Yeah, yeah, the front wheel's on there. That's my daughter talking in the back there. She's uh, always helping me out.
we're just seeing. <laughs> you knew that's why I put this board right here. You know, watch it. Watch it. Uh, I'm going to leave that one in. Well, that'll be great too because we can put some water up here and stuff yeah. up here then. And put the, um, the lawn work along the side. It's a lot of twisting and turning, but it made it. Yeah. It don't go very far every time you crank that stuff. So, but it sets good. It locks in place. That'll help hold it. We're going to give her a go anyhow. And we'll let you know how it unloads up in Wisconsin. All right, there you go. Uh, that's how I did it. It works great. It's a lot of winding because it goes real slow, but that's all right. Uh, it uh, it really works slick. I don't have to worry about it. Now, even if my daughter is alone up there and she wants to load it up, we don't have to. The thing is, being alone up in Northwood, you don't want to have an accident and get hurt because uh, uh, you may not make it. So anyhow, if you like that video, please subscribe to our channel. Tell your friends about it. And uh, we'll see you down the road.